this one is kind of wild. The Unsolved Mystery Iceberg is a list of mysteries about everything ranging from human consciousness to real life horror stories to missing persons cases to creepy coincidences to things like the Earth's origin and to some incredible and terrifying deep sea and deep space mysteries. Uh, there's honestly things in here for everyone. And as you get further and further down the list, the items in the list get more and more mysterious, obscure, unknown, dark, uh, and they honestly get a little terrifying. All of them are real, all of them are mysterious, and all of them are unsolved. So, as always, grab a drink. My choice today is not so mysterious green tea with lemon, and join me as we explore the unsolved mystery iceberg. So, for those of you who have never seen an iceberg list before, it's basically a picture of an iceberg with a list over the top of it. Uh, and as you get further and further down the iceberg and eventually underneath it, uh, the items in the list just get stranger and stranger and more unknown and obscure. This particular list is huge, and it's going to take me a few videos to get through the entire list. Uh, so. If you enjoy this type of content, as I know I suddenly do, then hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the later parts of this incredible journey. This first video will cover the first part of the first tier, and each subsequent video will take us further and further down the rabbit hole into deeper and darker items. Uh, I will explain and go into a little bit about each mystery as we go, but a deep dive into all of these would honestly take years, and I don't have that sort of time. There are, however, a few really cool and interesting ones, which I may do a full deep dive video on later down the line. But without further ado, let's start at the top and work our way down the unsolved mysteries iceberg. So to start off with, we have Would You Could You on a Train? So this is a reference to an ominous warning that took place two days before the Hoboken train crash. Uh, this aired on television and warned of hazardous materials and included the phrase, would you, could you, on a train. This warning was deemed an error, but two days later, the tragic Hoboken train crash happened, killing one person and injuring 114 others. Uh, next, we have Umaumau's origins. So Umaumau was the first interstellar object found passing through our solar system. Uh, its origins are unknown, but we do know that it came from outside of our solar system. Theories range from it being a chunk of a rogue planet, to it being an alien spacecraft. Uh, the fact that Umaumau is the Hawaiian word for scout makes me think that the people who discovered it maybe know something we don't. The 2001 anthrax attacks. So these were a series of targeted attacks over several weeks where letters containing spores of anthrax, which is a highly deadly bacteria, were mailed to several media officers and senators, killing five people and infecting 17 others. Uh, the main suspect in the case, Bruce Ivans, committed committed suicide a year after being put under surveillance by the FBI. There's further evidence to suggest that the conclusion the FBI made that Bruce Ivans was the culprit uh, is just simply untrue. Uh, obviously, we can't talk to Bruce Ivans about it, and to this day, no one has been charged for it. 2016 clown sightings. Oh gosh. So, for all the people born after 2016, this was a special time in Earth's history where creepy clowns were spotted and caught on several video cameras. Either just being generally creepy, scaring people, following people, some of them had knives. Was it all a hoax or was it genuine clown demons? I will let you decide. 3000 block of 3rd Avenue kidnapping. So this was a doorbell cam that captured the scream of an unidentified woman off camera. Uh, the scream is a little horrific and the camera then catches a car speeding past it, meaning that it essentially witnessed a kidnapping. Uh, although dozens of tips have come in for it, the woman has never been identified. 973 Etnamu 973. So this is a weird cryptic site that popped up uh, that you can actually still visit now. There are strange number sequences on it, eerie religious text quotes, uh, cryptic puzzles and messages, and just a generally spooky vibe. Uh, we're not really sure who made it or why it was made, so yeah, it's kind of creepy, but kind of fun. A858. This was a strange subreddit that appeared in 2011, containing only strings of numbers and letters. Some users decided to try and figure out and decipher the posts, and some of them spent a considerable amount of time doing so. 
there were some breakthroughs and a little bit of back and forth between the owner of the subreddit. However, it is now private with a message reading A858 has concluded. Theories of its origin and purpose range from a government psyops test to a recruiting program designed to find and recruit the top code crackers in the country to aliens. It's always aliens. Afterlife. So this one's pretty obvious. What happens when we die? Uh, many people obviously have many theories, but it is still one of our greatest unsolved mysteries. Albert Johnson. So this one is kind of wild. Uh, Albert Johnson, who is also nicknamed the Mad Trapper for reasons we'll get into, uh, was a guy in 1931 who was accused of messing with other people's hunting traps in Yukon, Canada. Uh, when the police came to his cabin to speak to him about it, he shot one of the police and led them on a manhunt for over a month. The chase spanned 240 kilometers. He scaled a 7,000 foot mountain uh, and ended up in a shootout and the death of Albert Johnson. Nobody knows who he was, where he came from, if Albert Johnson was even his real name, or why he moved up to the Arctic. After the shootout on his body, they found $2,000 in both American and Canadian, which is like $40,000 today. They found gold, they found a dead squirrel, and they also found teeth. Uh, so yeah, this one was a wild one. Amelia Earhart. So Earhart was one of the best aviators in the 20th century. She set many records for flying, but while trying to become the first woman to fly completely around the earth, she disappeared. It is thought that she died somewhere in the Pacific, but her and her plane were never found. Amy Lynn Bradley was a 23-year-old American woman who went missing on a Caribbean cruise in 1998. Her body, dead or alive, has never been found, uh, but there is evidence to support many theories about what happened, ranging from suicide, accidentally falling off the edge, uh, murder, or being sold into sex trafficking. It's a pretty sad one. Angel hair. So this is a phenomenon of this stringy hair-like substance falling from the sky. Uh, some people believe it's some sort of alien matter and some people believe it's flying spiders, which if I'm honest, I'm not too sure which one is more terrifying. The Axeman of New Orleans. So this was an American serial killer in 1918 who targeted mainly Italians and Italian Americans. Uh, he murdered six people and injured six more, but when the killing stopped, so did the evidence and he was never found. Ball lightning. So this one is a cool but strange and terrifying natural phenomenon where electricity can seemingly pool up into a ball. Uh, it can then hover and move around and even explode. The occurrence of this is extremely rare and so scientists have been unable to observe it or reproduce it. So aliens? Baltic Sea Anomaly. So this is an image taken of the sea floor of the Baltic Sea in 2011. Uh, the whole mystery of it is that it looks like, some people say, a sunken UFO. What do you guys think? Uh, just a quick side note guys, I had a ton of fun researching and making this video. So if you're liking the video so far, just leave a like and subscribe so you do not miss the rest of this incredible journey. I say incredible, I mean dark and mysterious and spooky. The Battle of Los Angeles, also known as the Great Los Angeles Air Raid, was a supposed attack by the Japanese on the city of Los Angeles in World War II, causing anti-air artillery to be fired and generally causing a mass panic in the city. Uh, this was later revealed to be false, the Japanese claiming never to have flown anywhere near Los Angeles in World War II. Uh, and years later it was found found to be a weather balloon that had caused all the confusion. Apparently it was mistaken for a plane and after the first shots were fired it caused everyone to basically be afraid of their own shadow and paranoid and just caused more mayhem and chaos. That is the official theory of what happened. But other theories have ranged from a cover-up to, you guessed it, Aliens. Uh, it's always aliens. The Beast of Bodmin Moor. Uh, so this is an anomaly of sightings mainly throughout the English countryside of large cats or beasts attacking livestock and humans. A majority of these sightings have been in Devon and these phantom unknown creatures are often given names like the Beast of Exmoor, the Cotswolds Big Cat and the Beast of Bodmin Moor. There have been a few large cats like pumas and jungle cats being spotted or killed over the years. 
but maybe it's equally likely that there are unidentified creatures roaming around in the dark, waiting to prey on whatever or whoever crosses their path. BB's abyssal fishes. And yes, it's fishes. Um, so this one is super interesting. After my research for my video on the Titanic, I was reminded that we have only explored about 5% of the ocean. So there is a lot of unknown stuff down there. This mystery is named after the discovery and documentation of these deep sea fishes by zoologist Dr. William Beebe in 1932. These fishes were strange, a little scary, and were six to eight feet long, but they have never been observed since. Could they have died out? Could they have returned to the depths from whence they came? From whence they... Who writes this? Uh, nobody really knows. The findings were also done off the coast of Bermuda, leading to theories of Bermuda being a sort of vortex to the deep ocean, uh, which might help explain where all of those ships ended up over the years. The beginning of the tectonic plates. Uh, so the tectonic plates are actually super interesting. They are essentially responsible for life developing on Earth, uh, because as they shift, they generate earthquakes, they fuel volcanoes, and open up ocean basins. Uh, but the origin of them and how they formed is still unknown. We are the only planet in the solar system with tectonic plates, and it's still a mystery as to how and why the single plate, which is observable on somewhere like Venus, uh, broke into pieces that now allow them to shift and move around the core. Uh, this one is super interesting to me, so if you like geology or the history of the Earth, that sort of thing, I would highly recommend taking a deep dive into this on your own. Beyond the observable universe. So this one's a little complex, but I'll try and simplify it. The observable universe is sort of like a hypothetical bubble around us. Anything outside of the bubble is so far away that if light had been traveling from it to us since the beginning of the universe, it would still not have reached us. Therefore, we can't see the light, therefore we can't observe it. So it's outside of the observable universe. Uh, eventually, in theory, as time passes, more and more of the light from outside the bubble will reach us, thereby increasing the size of the bubble and of the observable universe. But for now, bubble. An interesting note is that the universe is expanding faster than the speed of light, and things that are farther apart expand faster. So it's inevitable that in the future everything around the Earth will be expanding away from it faster than the speed of light. So light traveling from it to us will never reach us. We will look out into the universe and see nothing, which is a cool and slightly scary thought. Again, this one goes super deep, so if you like science-y and space stuff, definitely check this one out. Black-eyed children. So back to the horror stuff. These are legends of these paranormal creatures which take on the form of children. They have pale skin and black eyes and are reportedly seen hitchhiking or begging. Honestly, these photos fucking terrify me. Ah, ah. The Boltzmann brain. So similar to other theories about simulations, the Boltzmann brain thought experiment basically says that it is far more likely that a single brain spontaneously formed in a void than that an entire universe formed in that void filled with billions of brains and more. So, since it is far more likely that only a single brain formed, the odds are that we are all just in the imagination of a single brain. It's a bit nutso, but it's interesting to think about. The boy in the box. So, later identified as Joseph Augustus Zarelli, uh, this was a four-year-old boy found dead in the woods in 1957. He was wrapped in a blanket and found in a box, and his hair and nails had seemingly been trimmed after his death. He remained unidentified for over 65 years, uh, until DNA evidence technology was able to properly identify him. Uh, it's still an open case, and there's no proper leads that have been brought forward, so yeah, it's a pretty sad one. Bradford Bishop. So this was a US Foreign Service officer who, in 1976, after work one day, went home and killed his entire family. He fled and to this day has not been caught or found. As a foreign officer, he was fluent in five languages and was more than used to living and working in various countries around the world. So if he knows what he's doing, he might never be found. Also, he's 86 now, so hopefully he's dead. 
Brian Schaefer. So this was a really strange case of a student who went missing in Columbus in 2006. Uh, he was out one night drinking with friends and camera evidence actually showed him walking into this particular bar, but it never catches him leaving. Obviously the bar was searched like mad from top to bottom, but Brian has never been found. Theories suggest that he may have been killed and snuck out away from the cameras or that he simply disappeared himself and is now living under a new identity. Brown Mountain Lights. These are a series of ghostly lights that are reportedly seen near Brown Mountain, North Carolina. These are incredibly rare and they haven't been able to be investigated yet, but some people believe they are evidence of aliens. Uh, aliens. Capitol Hill's Mystery Soda Machine. So this one is kind of fun. It was a vending machine set up in Capitol Hill, Seattle that only had this mysterious button for its drinks options. Each purchase cost 75 cents and the machine would dispense rare, normally unavailable in the US, cans of soda. Uh, nobody knew who owned or stocked the machine or why. Sadly, it equally mysteriously vanished in 2018, but it's still a very cool mystery nonetheless. Carnival of Light. So this was an unreleased recorded track by the Beatles in the avant-garde style of some London music at the time. Uh, despite Paul McCartney's best efforts, it has never been released and it was only heard at a single event when Paul McCartney was asked to donate a track to the Roundhouse in London. This was a music festival event and this is the track they ended up receiving. On the track apparently are Native American war cries, guitar feedback, whistling, close-up gasps, <gasps> genuine coughing, and John Lennon screaming electricity, which it's got to be worth it just for that. Uh, Paul McCartney still has the tape for this track and said he was still considering releasing it. Fingers crossed. China Brain. So this is a thought experiment. The amount of neurons in the human brain is roughly 10 to the 11, and the population of China is roughly 1.4 times 10 to the 9th. So the idea is, since every neuron in the brain basically performs one task at a time. If each citizen of China were to simulate a similar task or action, would this mass arrangement be considered to be a brain or have a mind or consciousness? That's a good question. And it's fun to think about because we are so far, apparently, from figuring out what consciousness is. Coffee fee. So I'm sure you all remember this one. This was an apparent typo by Donald Trump during his presidency in 2017. It kind of sounds like coffee, but the word is probably coverage just based on the context of the tweet. But who knows if it was a genuine typo or whether it was intended in order to gain media attraction. Who knows? Cut off my feet. Uh, so this one's a little dark. This was a website set up by a guy called Paul Morgan in 2001. Basically, he had an injury 15 years prior that affected his feet. And for better quality of life, the doctor suggested that he could have his feet amputated and replaced with prosthetics. He had no feeling in his feet anyway, so Paul was all for it. However, his insurance didn't cover this quality of life surgery. Uh, so he decided in 2001 to make a website and to live stream him cutting off his own feet to paying viewers and using a guillotine that he had made in his house. He was then planning on using the proceeds from the paying viewers in order to pay for the surgery and prosthetics. Uh, yeah, so pretty wild. Uh, it made some headway, but due to legal reasons, because fucking of course, it ended up not coming to pass. D.B. Cooper. So this one is quite well known, but it's still to this day one of my favorite mysteries. So he was a guy who hijacked a plane in 1971. He told the flight attendant that he had a bomb on him and wanted them to land and give him his demands, which were four parachutes and the equivalent today of 1.4 million dollars. They landed did, let all the civilians off, refueled the plane, gave him what he wanted, and took off to Mexico City, where he had instructed them to fly to. About 30 minutes into this flight, he jumped out the rear stairs, which were open at the time, into the darkness. He had one of the parachutes with him and the money, and he has never been found. There's a few theories. Some say that he died on the jump. Some say that he died after the jump, because he was apparently in the middle of nowhere. And some say that he just got away with it. The character was actually featured in Prison Break and I thought they put a pretty cool spin on it. And a few suspects have been considered over the years, but none have really worked out. This for me is a super interesting case and there's quite a few really great documentaries out there if you would like to take a deeper dive into this one. And that is all we have time for. If you've made it this far, honestly, 
thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a thing or two from it. Uh, I really love researching this stuff and doing these videos. And the rest of the tier will be in an upcoming video. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.